five minutes less or longer because I know you guys are like, Sid, you stopped making a unit. Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm not wearing headphones. I did get a haircut. I don't know if you noticed, but I did. So did my brother. He also got a haircut. You want to come to the camera? Okay, this is going to be on YouTube, so. Hello. Yeah, he, he's so tiny. Look at him. Hmm. Uh, he's playing Roblox, which he always does. You guys can friend him. Hello. Actually, no. I think he has full friend requests. Oh, no. He doesn't. How many friends do you have? I only can everyone friend me, so I only one friend. Yeah, so me. hurry up, you guys, okay? Send her friend request, and but it's up to him if he wants to accept or not. So don't think that he will. The chances of it being you are very less, though. Only one lucky winner unless unless he gets you? less friends. Okay, anyway, I'm going to show you guys something different, something completely different, okay? This video is not coding in p but as you read the title, this is coding in Code Guppy. Have you guys have heard of Code Guppy? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, okay? I'm taking a break from p to tell you a little bit more about Code Guppy, okay? Let me open it up for you. Um, so this is something, Code Guppy Playground, and I'm going to bring the camera here to minimize my screen a little bit. I should have done it before. I'm gonna move myself in. for now. Um, so here is Code Guppy. It's a playground for kids or even for adults. Let's say if you're an adult and you've been, if you've heard of Code Guppy, and if you want to teach your kids how to code, I would not recommend. If you want, you could turn them either age right to p5.js or maybe the block code. Now I would recommend turning something easy with uh, Plants vs Zombies or Code. Dot org or sending them to code ninjas, which is the basic steps. I have gone to code ninjas for every little time. I have done I've done lots of code.org though, okay? Code.org is again a great way to learn how to code. However, it's not necessarily that free, generally provided by your school classroom and their kids do it during school. Though look, I've done it a, a, a bunch of times, okay? But yeah. And there are different types of block coding. So go ahead out there and start coding. So here's Code Guppy, and here's something I found on Code Guppy. I'm searching for a solar system, and I decided to look for one with Code Guppy. I found this on Reddit, I believe. So this is in mine. Okay, I do not have any ownership of this. I did not create this. This is not owned by me, though. This is something that I have created on my account. Okay, so and I have logged in with my email. So it's again the same thing: sid six zero four zero two at gmail dot com. My email, and if you guys want, you can also check in my website link will be in the description below so go ahead and check out my website where i do mention coding if you go to my inventory as a matter of fact i'm going to show it to you right now um i'm going to come back to that later Can I talk about me subscribing to me? who no who else people um tell me how many subscribers you have i don't know uh near you said you know i'm just gonna have to Go to my Hangouts page. Code. Hurry up. My friend Jackson Vermillion sent him my website. He has not yet because he went to Yellowstone National Park. So this is it. Sit Sing. Well, obviously, that's not a computer type in. This is it. HTTPS colon slash slash Sit Sing's refer to that wix site.com slash SCP 1000D. Again, you guys can also start create your own Wix site.com. An online little site. So online hours. Remember, this is a kids online only business. I created this website. I started in 19, 2019, but I didn't really finish it. And I do mention coding. So yeah, just go to this website right here. And the link will be in the description below. So um let's so let me show you guys my um the source. You can see over here to the right of the screen, and I can see a fairly nice um, solar system with different planets. We look, if you look at the top, there's a system age, and then each planet from Mercury throughout Pluto. And it also says years, how many years has it passed throughout the solar system. We also get to see um, it going around the sun, and um, it, it looks pretty cool. Only Earth is blue, everything else they may look white, but I don't really care about the colors. This is a very nice demonstration of a solar system. Now, I don't know, you're like, they left out a bunch of things. They could have added a couple more moons. They could have added maybe more stars, constellations, stars. a bunch of things. I don't think I've added more. 
So yeah, this is the um, solar system, which I did not make, and I obviously would not have the time to make this, because look at how much code there was in this. I mean, if you keep going, 128 lines in total, and um, they have different variables, though there are, so this is part of GitHub, you can find this, and there are similar functions, maybe familiar with the p 5 however, this is not the same thing as p 5 well, kind of is, like, what's the difference? I have my Canva, and like everything, and um, I can literally make the same thing. Well, yes, you can. I'm just opening up a different thing, okay? Besides just being limited to one thing, if a does have its good things, the code guppy is something that if you guys want, you guys can look into as well. And you guys can see maybe some of your sketches. You can try and put them on GitHub and maybe see if any of these might be able to work here. Some of them might. Um, so yeah, you guys can always add tabs. You can, you can still add music. The code isn't really this that different, and it's pretty much the same features that I've taught you. So it's not like we're going to start from scratch. And the good thing is, since we have knowledge using PFRHS, it's going to be way easier to switch between things and that. Okay, if you're tired, if, I'm, I'm saying, if you're just tired of PFRHS, then just code guppy. I just started learning into this. This is new that uh, was brought up to me. And um, I had, had it. So if you want now, do you guys, you guys probably know the coding train. Well, let's look at what he's been making so far, because I want to see what he's been making. So he's been making something like a Supreme Cosmonaut, which I saw before. So if you stop and play it, this is his code. Just go to this link, um, HTTPS colon, and um, you don't need to type in this part. After the slash, you don't need to write anything. And if you just hit enter after... Um, this then yeah or j j this is all you need yeah you don't even need the slash um if you save this link then you'll be able to see everything he's made and he has also con collected he's also he's also written his own books and um one a couple times he has said the name of my state when i was on his youtube channel i'm doing a live stream supreme cosmo not i was searching it up because why not so if you go to line 34, you can see that they have function draw planets. I've, I've never really talked about space that much in p5.js. I mean, I did get into, um, I don't know, what did I get into? I didn't really get into space that much. I was thinking of getting into it, and um, maybe with code couple we could start that. Now, obviously, I don't expect you guys to code this, but I'm looking at their code, and it seems pretty, pretty cool. Um, nice little sketch. If you look at, now, the reason why Pluto is going so slowly is because of its orbit. I mean, it, it's, its orbit takes so long to complete, okay, that it takes a lot of time. The reason why it says that is because Pluto's years take lots of time, okay? Now, if you go to Earth, Earth's years are made up of 365 days, approximately. And Earth has so far, we've so far completed almost 33 years. Everyone shut up. Fine, fine, fine. 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 The booty, fine. The booty, fine. Everyone shut up. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. What? Fine. I mean, I will. Fine. I will. Okay. 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 Anyway, so. What I fuck? You guys can play around with this tool and um, explore it. And please play Roblox with my brother and keep him busy. He's always after me like an annoying brother who's just annoying. So annoying. I'm gonna go to high school next year and he's just gonna be bugging me. Like, you know, those stinky bugs that always annoy you? And that's what he's gonna be doing. So yeah, uh, you guys can play around with this a little bit. So I'm gonna save this here. Again, this isn't my own thing. So, yeah, it's safe. So now I'm gonna show you guys the home. This is what it looks like if you go to the home screen. And if you click on my programs, so oh, untitled, I should probably title it. Uh, oh yeah, I, you can title your, your thing right here. Just click rename. They even have their own music. What else do they have? Uh, they have their own sprites. So if you guys want, you can get your own sprites. 
they have their own backgrounds you guys you guys can import a background from there um so this is the um some commands some functions um my pro And you can always come back and edit. Oh, there. This is where I can name it. I'm just going to call this. Um, where do I name it? Oh. Solar system. And. Um, save. Now, if I go back. And I click in their solar system, so it should appear um, like this saying um, solar system over there. And um, Monday, July 20th, 2020, 9 19 p.m. Yeah, that sounds about right. So you can contact them as well. And I find this to be very nice. Now let's go to the home screen. This is the actual home screen. Okay, there we go. So Click code now whenever you want to start coding. They have their own lessons where if you guys want, they have um their own uh things to teach you. Intro to coding, pixels and coordinates, expressions and variables, functions. So if you guys this is a great way to teach your kids how to um code. Um draw with code, they'll teach a bunch of things, arrays within JavaScript, um p5.js. So if you guys so this is a bit more similar to p5.js. So I think you guys can start from here, um, and so just click play, and you guys can see a bare face. So we just play around with this. I'm gonna go back, and you know, um, uh, printing messages, um, array methods, drawing with code, artist breakout, color blocky, um, blocky analog clock, micro draw, falling balloons, invaders, visual short plot function. So this is a bit easier instead of having. Not that much knowledge in the coding, I would recommend to be getting a bit familiar with this first if you want something for your kids to learn. Okay, this is a great way for kids especially to start. Snake, sledding, puzzle, computer poetry. Um, so, you know, they have their own sprites and their own background, so this is a great place to start coding. And that's basically it, okay? I know this was a really short video. Coding with Code Guppy will begin soon. This is going to be a playlist which I am hopefully will actually start soon. A new playlist means something different for all of us, really. Maybe, and this is this doesn't mean that this is the end of P5.js, so I can know. I really don't want to end it, though I do want to start something different, okay? And I'm, I'm, I can't wait, honestly. So play around with this code, Guppy. Videos are coming soon, and um, yeah, that is basically it. Bye.